Stephen Flynn, leader of the SNP. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Mr Speaker. And on behalf of my party, I'd like to send our condolences to all of those impacted by the devastating earthquake in Turkey and Syria, and also to welcome the exchange between the Leader of the Opposition and the Prime Minister in respect of Ukraine. We all in this House are united in our condemnation of Vladimir Putin and in our hope for a better future for Ukraine. It will be an honour for all of us to listen to President Zelensky this afternoon. Mr Speaker, in recent days, the former Prime Minister said that she did not regret her time in office. Does the Prime Minister regret her time in office? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm clear up which one. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I, Mr. Speaker I'm, great, I'm grateful to all my predecessors for the contribution that they make to public life. And, and what I, can, I join, can I join with the, uh, uh, join with the right honourable gentleman in saying that I know the whole House will be looking forward to hearing from President Zelensky at the conclusion of PMQs. Stephen Flynn. Mr. Mr Speaker, hold on a minute. Let's reflect upon the damage that was caused. £30 billion wiped off the UK economy. Pension funds brought to the brink of collapse. The pound reaching parity with the dollar. And interest rates for mortgage holders right across these aisles soaring. Now, the former Prime Minister won't apologise for the damage that she has caused. So on behalf of the Tory party, will he apologise for her? Yeah. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, on the first day that I took office, I said that mistakes had been made. But what we have done, what we have done, what we have done is to ensure that right now, he mentioned the pound, the pound at a multi-month high, borrowing costs restored back to where they should be, an economy stabilised, a clear and a clear plan to halve inflation and grow the economy. That's, that's what the Conservatives are delivering in government, and we continue to deliver it as well for the people of Scotland. Yeah.